One of the most common questions I get asked by you guys all of the time is how do you get really nice smooth shading using charcoal and graphite? How do you draw really nice smooth skin for portraits? I'm gonna be showing you how you can do it with just one cheap art supply. So anyway guys, let's get into it. We are gonna be using brushes to blend our charcoal and graphite. And the main two types of brushes that I like to use are round brushes and filbert brushes. And you don't have to use really expensive brushes at all, just cheap paint brushes will do. And another thing that you can use is actually makeup brushes. So makeup brushes, especially like the powder ones, are quite fluffy and so they work really well to blend some of the charcoal or graphite powder onto your drawing. The first thing that we need to do is make our charcoal charcoal and graphite powder and to do this I use a soft charcoal block and I'm going to be showing you this with charcoal today and I just rub it on a scrap piece of paper and as you can see you've got lots of loose charcoal which you can then put your brush into here I'm using the filbert brush and the more charcoal powder you get onto your brush the darker your shading is going to be and as you can see the more and more I shade with this brush the lighter it's getting so you really can get a large range of values with this brush and if you're trying to do really light values, just make sure that you get all of the excess powder off of the brush using either a bit of tissue or just a scrap piece of paper, wipe off the excess, and then you can just layer and layer until you get some darker values. I like to really build up the layers and start really light, as light as I can, and then build up to the darker values just so that I don't go too dark too early on. And as you can see, the brush is also really good at just blending out bits of charcoal shading that you apply down. And this works exactly the same with graphite. So if you shade some of the graphite or charcoal, you can go straight in with the brush and blend that out. Now let's have a practice of the technique that we're gonna be using to blend, obviously using our charcoal and graphite. And the first thing that I do is, like I mentioned just a minute ago, is I just put a very small amount of charcoal onto the brush and I just scrub this using circular motions, very lightly, not too hard, into the area that I'm trying to shade. And I like to use circular motions so that we don't have any sort of stop and start points, so that we get a really nice smooth layer of the charcoal. And as you can see, I'll just go in with more and more powder on the brush and just build up some of those deeper shadows and because we're using a brush that is very soft and we are just applying it a little bit at a time and going in our circular motions it means that we have a really soft and smooth result and even here where I'm adding a real harsh layer of the charcoal pencil directly to the paper you can see that when I go in with the brush it just looks really really soft so brushes are an amazing tool for blending out your graphite and charcoal. I mentioned it in a previous video but I haven't done a video just dedicated to this actual technique and as you can see I'm going in now with a kneaded eraser just to lighten up some areas on this sphere. Another great tool is tissue to blend over those large areas and just get rid of any harsh sort of eraser marks and once again you can just keep building up layers and layers of charcoal or graphite and go in with that brush and the biggest tip I have is to work in layers. Don't try and go in really dark straight away. Now I like to use different sized brushes. I like to use my small brushes for the little detailed area. As you can see recently I've been working on a drawing of Camila Cabello and so I use the real small round brush to get in the soft contours around the nose and the eyes and once again I'm just using that loose powder from my scrap piece of paper. I just keep pulling up bits and bits of that powder onto the brush and I use the fluffy brushes for the areas that I don't want to be as harsh or dramatic. The Filbert brush is going to give you a much harsher look whereas the fluffy brushes will give you more of a diffused soft shaded look and you can just see the skin looks really soft using this technique I have been using this technique quite a lot I really really like it and if you guys do want to see more videos on me using this technique for skin in a portrait then I can do a video on that in particular, I loved using this technique for the hair of this portrait. So as you can see, I got in all of the base sort of shadows with my charcoal pencil, and I'm, I've not got anything else on this brush apart from the charcoal that I used on the hair, and I'm just smearing and blending this around to fill in all of the white areas for the rest of the hair. And it just creates such a nice tonal value on the whole of the hair, and it just is really good at filling in all of the white grain of the paper. And that's an 
kind of a reason I love using the brush technique is because it is a really quick and easy way to fill in all of the white grain of the paper and get a tone value across the whole area and it's a really smooth value that looks even across the whole section. One thing that I'd recommend that you guys don't do is go back and forth with the brush too much. Keep using those circular motions, otherwise you might get stop and start points. Here is another example of a piece that I've been working on really recently, just using this brush with charcoal technique. And as you can see, you can get some really realistic results using this method. I mainly just use this method to blend. If you guys really do want to learn a lot more about this technique, then I have got lots of real-time tutorials for how I blend using a brush with charcoal on my Patreon. On my Patreon, I offer loads of real-time tutorials for different reward tiers. If you're a $5 patron, you get three tutorial series a month, which consists of three to five tutorials. And if you're a $9 patron, then you get an extra tutorial series, as well as the chance to have your artwork critiqued by me. So they're all real-time with voiceover, so you can follow a along with me and I do these for colour pencil portraits, animals, lots of different mediums. If you become a patron you'll get access to over 200 real-time tutorials right now once you become a patron. So the link to that will be in the description. Anyway guys, that's it for today's video. Please comment down below, have you tried this technique before? Do you now wanna give it a go? And also, have you got any other tips for getting really smooth shading with charcoal and graphite? If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new around here for more tips and tutorial videos. But that is it for me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everybody.